Would you want to ever see him in the WWE? Absolutely. Absolutely. I think, uh, <laughs> I think I think Connor's like a custom fit for WWE, you know? So if he ever needs a tag team partner in WWE, I'm going to throw my name in the hat, put, put it out there that, you know, he's always welcome in WWE. I'm Big Zoo, and the UFC have asked me to fire eight questions at some of the UFC's biggest and most famous fans. Our guest today hails from Ireland. He's a WWE superstar. He was inaugural WWE Universal Champion and a two-time NXT Champion. He now competes in SmackDown, which can be seen every Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on Fox. I'm Big Zoo, and this is Eight Questions with Finn Balor. Obviously, there's not a lot of other people to clap. It's just, <laughs> it's, it's just me clapping. So, first question: What is the first UFC fight you remember watching? Right. So, as a kid, I was completely obsessed with all types of combat. If it was WWE wrestling, Mexican lucha libre, uh, like Japanese kickboxing, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan, anything that was like combat. And I was at HMV one day and I found UFC 4 video tape, like a proper old school VHS. And like I watched that whole show and like, I don't remember the whole card, but um, main event I'm sure was Gracie versus Severn. And man, I was just hooked straight away. It was just so incredible. All these different styles of, of fighters like coming together in one place, incredible. Mad, UFC 4, I was not born. Um, so I, I, that's mad, you know. Now I'm definitely aging myself, man. No, nah, don't worry, don't worry. You're all good, man. You're all good, man. You look, you, 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 look, you look younger than me. Number two, who is your favorite UFC fight of all time? That's a simple question. Being an Irishman uh, and seeing such incredible success for Conor, obviously Conor McGregor is, uh, is my favorite UFC fighter of all time. When he first came out, did you feel like a, a, a pride? See, obviously, you're coming from Ireland. Did, did you feel like you was connected to him because he was from where you're from? Yeah, of course. I feel like, uh, you know, the Irish are a, a nation of people who travel and, you know, explore the world. And, you know, we're, you know a lot of us are immigrants working in, in, in overseas uh, countries. So definitely, uh, you know, seeing an Irishman, you know, traveling the world and, uh, and fighting is, is always, like, such great... Uh, sense of pride you know to to be associated with them question number three uh, i think i can i think i can have maybe a guess what this is but what is your favorite <laughs> ufc fight that you've ever watched or attended all right so i've never been to ufc live sadly uh, but my favorite ufc fight was connor versus ds2 just uh, seeing those guys go like you know fist for fist show respect at the end blood everywhere you know, just classic. That's a, that's a memorable one for me. What, was you surprised after the first fight? Uh, no, not at all. I think, you know, Diaz has proven time and time again that he's a tough son of a bitch. So, like, uh, I, wasn't <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't surprised at all. And uh, uh, I, think, I think he said it himself best in his, in his uh, post-match interview. So, uh, but no, I wasn't surprised. Nate Diaz, you just shook up the world. How's that feel? Hey, I'm not surprised. <laughs> On to question number four. Who do you think Conor McGregor should fight next? What do you think he should do next after um, he heals up fully? As a fan, I feel like it's a win-win because we got Poirier, which is right there. We got Diaz, maybe yeah. the third part of that is right there. So, I, But really just once Conor heals up, gets better and gets back fighting, I think that's the most important thing. Anything past yeah. that, you know, is a win-win for as a fan. Would you want to ever see him in the WWE? Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I think uh, I think I think Connor is like a custom fit for WWE. You know, so um, if he ever needs a tag team partner in WWE, I'm gonna throw my name in the hat, put put it out there that you know he's always welcome in WWE. Obviously, he's he's got a, he's gone for a big injury. You've you've had some big injuries yourself. What's it like bouncing back from from big injuries and going back into fighting? You know, physically, it's easy. I think the the hardest thing about an injury is is the mental, uh, the the mental okay. aspect of it. And I, uh, you know, I was first universal champion in the process of winning the title. Dislocated my shoulder, tore the bicep, the tricep, uh, the pec tendon, the labrum, destroyed it all. So had to you know relinquish the title the next day, go for surgery. 
spend nine months on the shelf and you know physically after nine months i was fully healed but mentally like the scars the insecurity the are you ready the you know the self-doubt starts to creep in and that's really gonna be i feel the hardest thing uh, for anybody to overcome in an injury question number five how does it feel to be back you know with fans after all this time and no fans how does it feel to be back Man, so incredible. First off, I want to say hats off to WWE for continuing to produce shows every week through the pandemic. But, you know, we were back with live fans two weeks ago and it was such an amazing experience to just walk out and kind of be welcomed home into the arena by like all the WWE universe. That energy is like what fuels us and being like starved of it for so long. Like I was going cold turkey. Like, you know, I was not myself at home. Even though I was getting to perform every week, it was still, there's nothing like that experience of like feeling that instant gratification of the roar of the arena. And, uh, you know, we had it last week back live SmackDown and uh, we're going, all systems go now for SummerSlam. SummerSlam is going to be our yeah. biggest show of the year, obviously, like kickstarting back off uh, everything. And, you know, we can't get, can't wait to get to Vegas. Obviously, speaking of SummerSlam, the WWE be holding tryouts in that same week. And for the people that don't know, what happens at the tryouts and what makes someone a successful tryout? Yeah, we got tryouts all week at, uh, at SummerSlam week in Vegas. Um, so many WWE superstars have been crossover athletes, either from NFL or, you know, UFC. We've had Ronda come in. She's done incredible. Uh, but yeah, the tryouts are basically just like an introduction to WWE. Obviously, there'll be a lot of emphasis on, you know, fitness, endurance, you know, respect, discipline, and just kind of, you know, an introduction to what WWE wrestling is about and, you know, to see if you're suited to it. And uh, I think, you know, it's a great opportunity for someone to, you know, transfer over from either UFC, football, you know, basketball, whatever, uh, I think. WWE is a really, really interesting uh, place right now with so many different types of athletes that, you know, anyone can, can succeed. I think it's time for me to lace up my boots, you Oosh. know, <laughs> get ready. <laughs> and Big Zoo, WWE coming to you. Okay, maybe not. Maybe I, I don't think the, the fitness I have yet. You well, got the you got the you, know. you got the talking part of it down anyway. That's for I got sure. the talking and I got the name. Big Zoo. You, you know, I want to get talk, that title. Yeah. You can talk him into the I arena, that's for sure, man. When the bell rings, I, I don't it. know I what's going to happen. But... <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've always just wanted to run out of the doors and just slide into the ring. That's like, I want to do like a surprise attack. That's always been like a dream of mine. But that's for another conversation. <laughs> do, do, do you have like a music that you would choose as your entrance music, as your theme music to come in on that uh, surprise attack? Do you know what? I'm not going to lie. I've always loved John Cena's music, yeah. Uh -huh. So it will probably be it'll, you'll probably hear John Cena's music play, and I'll come oh. up. Probably it's, it'll probably be that, you know. I, I gotta tell you, I've been in the ring when John Cena's music hits, and there is no feeling in the world like it. And anyone else's music that hits, you get like fifty percent of the people like love them, and that's it. But with Cena. It's either 50% of the people love him or 50% of people hate him. And it's so yeah. polarizing that, like, for a lot of wrestlers, there's a couple of people that aren't pushed so they don't make, a you know, an audible reaction. But with Cena, he's so polarizing that it's, it's either cheers or boos. And that energy in the building is like nothing I've ever experienced, man. It's incredible. Question number six. If you could fight slash wrestle anyone in history... Who would it be? Wow. Well, obviously, I'm not going to fight anyone. I'm a huge UFC fan, huge fight fan, but I have too much respect for the fighters. Uh, <laughs> I would like to stay in my lane, you know, out of the octagon in the professional wrestling ring. And, uh, yeah. you know, my favorite wrestler of all time is HBK Shawn Michaels. And, you know, if oh, I had God. the opportunity to face him, yeah, he, he, for me, he, he's the GOAT of pro wrestling. And, uh, and, you know, someone I've been very lucky to have gotten an opportunity to work with in the last two years and, He's, uh, he, he's, you know, they say don't meet your, your heroes or don't meet your idols, but man, he's far exceeded any expectation I could have for, for meeting somebody. Yes, that sweet chin music. I don't think anyone <laughs> can forget that, man. That is like, that is so legendary. 
You know, yeah. you know they say okay. you know they say don't practice at home. They say don't practice at home, but goddamn. <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't practicing was, WWE moves nah. at home, I don't know what's wrong, cuz <laughs> Nah, I was super kicking my little brothers at twelve years old all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta be careful, you know, that one it can go wrong, man. You gotta be careful. <laughs> I love it. Question number seven is what would your fantasy UFC matchup be? So any fighter versus any fighter in history. So this is a great question. Fantasy UFC match. Obviously, being a WWE superstar, I have a huge investment in how the WWE superstars do in the UFC. So obviously I've you know followed Brock. And face yeah. Brock in the WWE ring. So to see Brock in the ring with someone of WWE who has an MMA background, I know he's never fa- uh, you know fought for UFC, but Bobby Lashley has such an incredible MMA background. You know, WWE champion, incredible yeah. athlete, complete freak of complete freak of nature. I think both of those guys, you know, in the octagon, gone hell for letter, would be absolutely spectacular. And uh, you know, for me, that's that's a dream match. Whether it happens in uh, WWE or, or UFC, I think I think we would all win, you know? Who is the GOAT? Who is your GOAT in WWE and who is your GOAT in UFC? So let's kick it off with w- WWE first. Yeah, I think we already touched on it. For me, hands down, greatest of all time in WWE is Shawn Michaels. W- yeah. Without a doubt. From, you know, the sheer length of his career, you know, to what he overcame in, you know, a big man industry, you know, especially at the time to, you know, succeed is, you know, incredible. In UFC, I think Khabib has just, you know, been flawless through his whole career, uh, respectful and, uh, you know, someone that everyone can, I feel, admire and look up to and, and thrive to be like that, you know. You've got Shawn Michaels and Khabib. That's what we love, man. Imagine, imagine, imagine a fight <laughs> between both of them. That would be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> SummerSlam takes place Saturday, August 21st from the Allegiant Stadium. It's been amazing speaking to you, myself, Big Zoo. That has been our eight questions. Cheers.